Hey everybody, welcome back to another adventure of coffee. Oh, my phone is ringing. What's going on? Hello? Coffee girl? This is Tom Nook. In the spirit of May 1st May Day, I've arranged a special tour as a way of saying thanks to everyone. Tour flights will be taken off through May 7th, so stop by the airport whenever you're ready. Have fun. Ooh. All right, I guess we know what we're doing today. Let's jump on into this. All right, you guys, so I'm making this video the morning of George's birthday, so I just wanted to tell him happy birthday. We will be celebrating your birthday tonight, so I love you, George. And I am actually in my outfit from the other day, so I have to go get changed and then I think we'll go check out that new island for May Day. Completely threw me off guard. So let's go see what's going on. I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back and I'm ready for this May Day Island tour. Let's go check it out and see if we can get through the maze on the first try. Let's go. All right, Orville, we are here because I was told that today is May Day. So I, I got a Mayday ticket here from Tom Nook with Coffee Girl written on it, which means it's yours. Yep, that's right. All right, I want to fly. All right, and we're going to do Mayday Tour. So this Mayday Tour is a special trip to a faraway island. It's all organized by Tom Nook. As for what awaits you there, you'll just have to find out when you land. For this tour, you have to go empty-handed. We'll hold on to all your belongings here at the counter. Oh man. Don't worry, we'll be sure to return them to you when you get back. So, want to stow your luggage and head out on the Mayday tour? Time for takeoff, you bet. Alright, let's get you airborne. And we have touched down. You're at your Mayday tour destination. Now this tour is different than most. Whole island's a giant maze. Nothing in aerial view wouldn't help. But that's not why we're here. This is a navigation tour. You copy? The point is to find your way through. We've stowed your gear back at the airport counter, so you'll start this mission with empty wings or, or hands. <laughs> Uh, we big shot bird types rely on our inner radar to get us around. It's a pretty nifty trick. But you groundbound goslings will have to zero in on whatever you can find in the maze to reach your target. If you get stuck or grounded or lost in a fog bank or whatever, just hail the rescue service on your phone. Our whiskered allies will reset things so you can refuel, regroup, and restart the maze. And if you ever feel like you need a little extra intel, I might have a hint or two for you. So time to get going. Right about November Oscar whiskers. Good luck and wheels up. All right, wish me luck, you guys. I'm out of here. Okay, so for those who didn't play in the previous years, we have to get all the way to the end of the maze to get our presents. So let's see what type of, oh, we got a shovel. Okay. So we're gonna use the shovel to dig up the flower here. And then we're gonna jump over it because we don't wanna use the shovel too many times or the shovel will break. However, we need to eat that fruit to dig up the troops. We don't wanna drop it though, we wanna eat it. So we're gonna eat it. And then we're gonna dig up this tree here. Okay, first obstacle done. Now, I'm gonna kinda hop around and get a lay of the land. We're gonna take this wood over here. All right, and I can't go back there. I should know this by heart because this maze looks pretty much like it did the last one. Oh, I could have gone that way. Dang it. Okay. So let's go over here and see what we got down here. We got a stick. Awesome. Okay, cool. So now we can go down here and collect all the sticks. 
And we're gonna try and collect as much as we possibly can before we start hitting things. We got this, what is this utensil? So we have an ax, which you could probably only use for one use. So you do not wanna use that um, immediately. You wanna save that till you are at your absolutely absolute last resort because that's very important. Okay, now I know I could go down here and there's a rock to hit with some iron. So we're gonna need that iron for the sticks. Um, did I get any fruit? No, I did not. Okay, so we're gonna go back over here and we're going to, we need to get that orange up there. And I walked right past it and didn't even grab it. So no, I can't get it. Okay, well, I need that orange. As of right now, I don't have any fruit on me. Well, you guys, I don't want to, but I kind of think I have to chop down a tree. Hmm. So if I chop down this tree, I'll get two oranges, which means I could pick up a rock or break a rock I can get iron and then I can also break the rock over there I think that's what we're gonna have to do I hope I hope this is the right move because I need to get those fruits okay let me just make sure it's not this one up here you know what if I chop down this one here though I'll get a stick and two oranges so this one seems like a better bet to chop down that tree than it does to chop down the tree down here, right? Because this one only gives us two, where that one gives us two and a stick. Okay, let's chop this one down. And it broke because it only has one use to it. Okay, so we're gonna hop over this stick and the oranges okay we got those so now we are going to be able we can go ahead and pick up that and get another two oranges but do we want to do that just yet let's see we have another orange down here we probably have a recipe down here so I'm going to eat one of these because I know I need hmm. decisions, decisions, y'all. If I go up here, I'll get these two plus that and the iron. I know there's a recipe over here and I can't do anything without this recipe. So I need to get this one and it's going to give me an orange and in return so we're gonna eat one and then we're gonna we're gonna hit this rock right here and of course the rock gave me nothing oh okay so we have to dig up that tree the recipes that we got are gonna be the flimsy axe which we know and wait a flimsy axe and an axe oh okay okay well that's good so we know we need the iron and we know that we need this tree because it's going to give us a total of of three oranges if we do it correctly because we're going to get that orange up there so let's go ahead and dig up this tree right here Got that we're gonna jump over it and get these two and then we have to go all the way around to get that okay so we're running around this part of the maze then we're gonna jump over here and go down and then that way we can get to this rock and get that iron over there because that's important. 
going to eat this every time i eat and, and break something i'm so scared i'm doing the wrong one because you have to do the right ones otherwise the whole thing gets messed up the whole thing you guys okay i'm taking this back over we have two oranges remaining i have to lift up this tree so i can get that orange up there right right or do i have to chop that tree I'm not going to jump the gun because back there we have three trees, three. So we're going to have to pick up a tree and then we're going to have to chop a tree. Let's go over here and we'll make this recipe real quick because we have, we have what we need to make it. Okay, here goes nothing. We're eating an orange. And we're gonna dig up this tree. Okay, I'm just gonna cover that up just because I can. And it doesn't hurt my, <laughs> my shovel by doing that. Okay, let's craft a flimsy axe. We got that. And now we're going to craft a regular axe. Okay. Okay, we're all done here. Okay, so let's think about what we have up here. We have a couple of trees. And you can only use the shovel so many more times, right? So we have one orange remaining, which we will have another orange over here. We have to get through that tree down there, but we also have to pick up these trees because otherwise Oh no, we can land next to him. Okay, that's good. So we should be good. Let's go ahead and go down here. Are you guys as nervous as I am? Because I wanna do this in one try. I did it in one try last year and I got it all done right. I'm trying to hold up my record here. So, I'm going to, I'm pretty sure that my, my shovel is about to break. Either way, we should be okay, so I'm going to eat it. I'm going to use the shovel here. We're going to pick this up. Please don't break shovel. Okay, good. And we got this orange, and now we can go up here. Up until now, that's the first chance we've gotten to go, we've gotten to go up here, so that's why we couldn't do this earlier. So we have three trees we have to get through here. So the first one, I'm going to eat the orange. I'm going to do it. And maybe I'll do the ax because there might be a, oh, you know what? There's a rock that I have to break at the end to get those tickets. So we're gonna save that orange. So we use the ax here. So we have the tree number one. We're gonna jump on this and go over here. We have tree number two. This ax will hold out. This ax will be just fine. And then we have this tree. Okay, so we still have that orange that we did not use. And we made it through on the first try. How awesome is that, you guys? I'm so happy right now. Okay, so we have Rover here, and you made it to the goal. Hi. Huh, hey, have we met before? You seem kind of familiar, but, oh, sorry, I've been traveling to a lot of different islands lately, and I'm pretty bad with names and faces. This is my first time on this island. It's a, a pretty weird island, isn't it? But brings you here, what brings you here anyway? Tom Nook sent me. Wait, you know Tom Nook? He's the reason I'm here too. I mean, I'm here because he invited me. 
he told me he put together a very interesting attraction on this island and I should check it out. But I didn't expect to find a maze. Mwahaha, Mar. What a surprise. So if you know Tom Nook, does that mean you live on the same island as he does? It sure does. Neat. I hear Nook's been putting a ton of work into that place. What was it called again? Oh yeah, Latte Land, right? Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I knew it. Hey, you're pretty interesting, you know? If all you island folks are this much fun, I bet Latte Land's great. You got a name, by the way? Uh-huh, Coffee Girl, eh? Great name, great name. I'm glad we met. It's almost like fate. In fact, there's something I want to give you, Coffee Girl. It's one of my favorite briefcases. We've been through a lot together, and now I want you to have it. I'm going to mail it to your house, though. I wouldn't want to get any lost on the last leg of this journey. It's so great to meet you. I mean, what are the odds? I really didn't expect to have much fun here. One thing's for sure. I'm hoping fate will bring us together again sometime. See you later. All right, well, we made it through. We still have our shovels, so we can go ahead and dig up this bush over here to get these tickets because we want these tickets right okay and these are bell vouchers so if you sell them over at resident services they will give you money for them okay if i remember correctly we want to go up this way so i'm going to dig up let me just make sure Maybe there's a bottle on the island or something. You never know. You never know. Yeah, we don't want to go that way. We're going to go this way. As long as I don't break our shovel, we should be good. And just so I don't use it again accidentally, I'm going to put it away because you know me. I tend to do things and then I mess up and then I don't have a shovel. And that would just make me very unhappy. Okay, one more time. Okay, and this time we're just gonna jump over this one. Oh, I hope that we were supposed to dig that one up because it looks like I could have gone around it and I probably just messed up. Hopefully I didn't mess up. Hopefully we've got this. Oh, and I messed up because you know what? I don't have enough oranges. So I should have used the last three oranges for this and use the ax on the trees. Oh, I knew I'd mess up. I knew it. Well, in order to do that, I'd have to start all over again. So let me go ahead and we'll skip through it. And I'm not gonna show you guys going through it all over again, but just know to save three oranges for the end. So I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so this is where we made our mistake last time. So instead of eating the um, oranges at this point, we should be using our ax for everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop down the tree here. And we're gonna get these two oranges here. And we wanna keep them. So we have two oranges, and then there's one in the back here that we need to get. So we're gonna run around here. And then last time we came around here, we used an orange. We're not gonna use an orange, we're gonna chop this tree. Okay, so now we still have our two oranges left. We have our ax and we have three oranges. And now we're gonna chop down these, all of these trees. I should have known because these axes, they last a long time. These are not, the flimsy axis. This is just a regular axe. It should definitely be capable of chopping down five trees. You know what I mean? Okay. So we got that. And then we got to talk to Rover, which we'll skip through this part. Okay. So we just finished with the bell vouchers. We have everything here. I used oranges. In, or I'm sorry. I used the axe instead of the oranges. And I'm just going to pick up this last bush because after this bush, we should be able to run around it. And you want to try and preserve 
your shovel as much as possible because you're probably going to need it at the last three rocks. So I'm assuming we can get past this bush over here. I'm going to try to anyway. Oh, yeah, we got by it. Okay, go. So you can get by that bush. You do not have to pick up that last bush. Now we have three rocks. We have three oranges. We're going to eat all three of these. Okay, now we're gonna start hitting some rocks here and hopefully all three of them will break. <laughs> all right, we did it, you guys. So we have all of the vouchers here. And we won, we won the maze, yay. <laughs> so let me see if it'll let me dig these up or if I have to go all the way back around. All right, you guys, so just a little roundabout way at the end there, but we did it. I'm happy we got all of our bell, bell, our bell vouchers. We'll take those to resident services and cash them in for some bells. And um, that's how you complete the maze. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful May Day. And we are off to the next adventure. I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>